Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to do this video like for the umpteenth time thanks to Mercury Retrograde. We've had leaf blowers and helicopters and me not putting my phone on Do Not Disturb, so texts and WhatsApp messages coming in and shutting down the video and don't ask. But because I'm doing it for the umpteenth time, I have my thoughts in a row, which is really nice. The planet Venus went direct two days ago on the 24th, late 24th for me. The 25th is the date that most astrologers are using. Venus came into the sign of Gemini on April the 3rd, went retrograde on May the 13th, direct on June the 25th or late 24th Pacific time in my case, and moves out of Gemini and into Cancer on August the 7th. Okay, Venus and Gemini, and I've done a number of videos on Venus and Gemini a while ago because this transit has been active since April the 3rd, so you're welcome to look at my videos and find them if you're interested. But among other things, Venus and Gemini especially put the emphasis, put our relationship and financial emphasis on, on interaction and Geminian things. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, communication, but particularly technology. I, you know, the strange thing about Venus coming into Gemini at this time is, of course, it came into Gemini April the 3rd, just when the lockdowns and the quarantines were occurring. And you would think Venus, the planet of Venus is not the planet of communication, it's the planet of money and luxuries and arts and creativity and harmony and balance and the natural flow of things. It's the more passive feminine planet. Um, abundance, growth, um, the nexus between relationships and finances. Um, I'm going to talk about that nexus a little bit more. But, 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 and Gemini is such a social sign. It's about communication and chatter and gossip and information and data and technology and writing and typing and messages. The strange thing, and I think this is going to resonate for a lot of people, is that even though this lockdown was in place, so much of our financial and relationship and interactive lives went online. So lockdown or no lockdown, no matter what you were doing on social media, WhatsApp, iPhones, computers, technology, Zoom. I mean, just look back to April 3rd and look at what has happened since then with regard to the fact that so much of our relationships and our financial lives has become Geminian by virtue simply of the use of technology and how much of our interactive interactions has gone there. So Venus and Gemini, even though we've been in lockdown, you know, that's exact, that's where the energy has gone. Now, when Venus was retrograde, May the 13th to July the 25th, as I've explained before, a lot of that energy was around re-evaluating or dealing with the fact that others were re-evaluating where they were at financially and in terms of their relationships. Contracts. Contracts is a very Venusian and a relevant concept as far as this video is concerned. And contracts could be professional, depending on where the sign of Gemini sits in your chart and where Venus was retrograde, or they could be personal. They could be written. They could be verbal. They could be the things we say to each other. Relationship with anybody, anybody, relatives, siblings, parents, colleagues, partners, spouses. Contracts are written and legal or they're verbal stated, understood, misunderstood. The general perception is that when it comes to money and abundance, it is a factor of Mars as opposed to Venus. What I mean by that is we're told and taught that our abundance is a re direct result of us pursuing our goals. And there's truth in that to some extent. Mars is the male testosterone active planet that gives us the vitality to go after what we want, to shoot the arrows into the target. However, astrologically and archetypally, and I find this to be true and reflective and important, our abundance is actually a direct result of the quality of our relationships. Whether it is with your clients, whether it is with your boss, whether it is with other people around you, how much work you generate, how much trust there is in your relationships, how you manage and balance through those relationships, through Venusian concepts, how much peace there is, all of that is actually what creates how you deal with people in your team. Are you more Mars or are you more Venus? Venus, the feminine passive planet, the relationship focus, the planet that seeks balance and harmony is really the planet that manages our money and a sense of abundance and a sense of worth, self-worth. 
how we treat others, what we value, who we value. It's an interesting distinction, but it's a really important one with this Venus going direct. It's an interesting and important one, I think, for life, because I think we think that when I do this and when I accomplish this and when I get this and I get this degree and when I get this place, then I'm going to be rich and wealthy and famous. Whereas what you find is that the quality of your abundance is actually directly related to the quality of your relationships. I will let all of us ponder that. When Venus was retrograde, there were a number of questions that came up. What do we value? How are our finances and relationships aligned with that? Where are we trying to go? What owns us? What do we own? Our resources. Venus governs our resources. Are our resources working for us or are we working for our resources? If you're a snail, is the shell on your back too big to get you to where you want to go comfortably or not? And of course, the question of how has this lockdown quarantine impacted each of us and what decisions do we need to make and what reflection do we need to do with regard to our finances and our relationships during this quarantine? From a relationship perspective, some of this could be around trust and especially past relationship issues coming up to be reevaluated through a lens of self-worth examining others, looking at others, are they telling the truth, how are they treating me, how am I treating them, and in certain cases when it comes to the finances of it, in certain cases there, there was a need to reflect on who you're going to be in partnership with, who you're going to sign contracts with, who you're going to be in bed with. Even if there's a financial carrot at the end of a stick, are you going to move towards it because you need the finances but there's a fundamental issue in the relationship or not? could be for some people that could be part of this when Venus was retrograde you may have found yourself in communication with a number of people because Venus is in Gemini but a lot of the processing was internal it doesn't matter whether you had five conversations with someone or a party or 10 or 15 a lot of energy from the middle of May till about the end of June has been spent trying to understand what all of it means and sometimes we're the ones who are doing the reevaluating, and sometimes other people and the organizations that we are dealing with are the ones who are doing the reevaluating because they have to. Because in April and for part of May, they were adjusting to the lockdowns and the quarantines. And by the middle of May and into June, they had to go, I don't know what this means. I've got all those plans that I had and all that money that I had and all the ways in which all of that was showing up is no longer, I can't rely on it. So I've got to figure out what I value and see how I'm going to align things around it. Now, Venus goes retrograde at a time when Mercury is retrograde and has been retrograde for about a week or so. Mercury goes direct July the 12th. And in the cosmic nature of things, this is actually a bit of a help. When Venus goes direct, a lot of this internal introverted thinking and processing about relationships and finances, whether you're impacted by it, is going to want to become more yang and more forward. You're going to be in a place now, between now and August the 7th, but especially, more notably, even between now and July the 15th, even while Mercury is retrograde, where you're going to want to pick up the phone, where you're going to write to people, where you want to, where you're going to start to and want to meet face to face with people to redefine certain contracts. Whoever, wherever you've been needing to reevaluate things with, if it's purely relationships, if it's purely money, if it's all of that, if it's creative, wherever, whatever, whatever has been bothering you from a relationship and financial perspective, your energy is going to shift and you may already have felt it shifting to, I have got to sort this stuff out. Rather than me being in a place where I'm thinking about what is going on, what does this mean, what, you know, it, there's more of a desire to say, okay, all this introverted retrograde energy, you're going to find that dissipating to, I'm going to be in communication. I'm going to reach out. I'm going to start to build bridges, bridges of understanding. Bridges of trying to get to the same page. Bridges of trying to reach agreements on what our contracts are going to look like, whether these are formal or informal contracts or agreements. Airing what is bothering us, and especially if it's past issues, trying to put them to bed. The challenge till July 12th to the 15th is that a lot of the reprocessing has now become mental. So if organizations, for example, have been in a place of, we don't know how much money we have, we've got to figure that out, now we've got to figure out what we value, now we've got to figure out what we prioritize, now the energies around 
we have got to make sure that the numbers make sense and the data makes sense and we are being deliberate and slow around that while mercury is retrograde so the financial reevaluation has given way now to a cognitive evaluation of plans and processes so if you're dealing with the organizations that is where you might find them and so for the next two weeks you may find that while you're ready to have conversations a lot of those are mired in either crossed wires or a lot of needing to sort through data and information to just make sure that everyone is in a place of comfort and the data adds up do not try to rush things right now if you have things you have to submit and letters you have to send out and by all means finish and do the actions and show up as you need to but do not try and rush things because the worst possible thing the advantage and sort of the celestial beauty of mercury being retrograde as venus is going direct is that mercury a retrograde mercury is protecting you from rushing out there and putting a heart on everything and a first on everything and signing contracts when you are in a place where you're just ready to go build bridges the mercury retrograde this two odd week period is going to give you the time even though it's going to be frustrating and you're going to deal with crossed wires and you're going to work and even though you're ready to talk about agreements data is going to be and information is going to come through that's going to confuse you and going to present that the bridge building that there's a lot of foundational work that still needs to be done it's necessary and it's important do not rush that look at the details ask the questions slow things down where they need to be slowed down so that by the time you get to the middle of July and towards the end of July things can really flow and you don't commit to something or try to rush something that is half-baked so the biggest thing I'm gonna say about this Venus Direct is whatever evaluation whatever has been unearthed wherever you feel a sense of urgency and importance to work on relationship and financial prioritization or you are at the receiving end of someone else's the energy has already started to shift and it's going to shift to you now rather than spending so much time in your head or in your heart or in your mind even if you have spent a lot of time on the phone or over email or in zoom a lot of that introspective energy now wants to be external because venus is direct it wants to start manifesting things it wants to start testing and it wants to start building bridges it wants to start getting these relationships in the right place over the next two weeks there will be emphasis on communication and data and information being shared some of which is going to be to your liking a lot of which is going to be unclear but the need for that it is there to protect you so that you don't just rush out there and start to build bridges that are not sturdy yet Venus going direct is the first of the gates we've been waiting to, for, to open for a long time while this, we've been dealing with a certain amount of stagnant energy since May. It's about a couple of months of stagnant energy because the forward movement that occurred this year occurred in January and then in April, even during the lockdown. Until then, we've just been like, oh, I want to move, but I can't. Uh, thinking, 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 processing, processing, processing. What do I value? What do I value? Relation. Great great some of that introverted work has been done now you're ready to go ahead and start moving and making decisions have the conversations and if they're uncomfortable for another two weeks or if internally in your mind they put you in your mind with regard to hmm what's going on here can I trust this can I not start the process of bridge building as you head towards the end of July and by August the 7th some of the bridges that you're trying to build will stand and some will fall apart and you will be able to make a direct link to the fact that these issues came into your consciousness after April the 3rd when Venus came into Gemini because those are the those are the places and people where you're trying to build bridges and you will recognize that between May the May the 13th and June the 25th is when you were forced to even if you thought these things were behind you you were forced to start to contend with and deal with relationship and financial issues that had were either being slowed down for you or had to be slowed down because things had to be reevaluated if it's purely personal issues of trust harmony balance equal give and take very venusian now that venus is direct you're ready to be in communication sort this crap out and you're feeling the need to in order to regain peace and harmony you're ready to get the energy to be less internal and less in a place of suspicion and evaluation and more towards execution while mercury is retrograde till july the 12th to 15th you will find that you are in communication but the wires will still be crossed and data has to be checked some of it is logistical because people just don't have enough information yet and the math hasn't been done yet 
whatever that might mean in, in non-math contexts. And in certain cases, it will be that you start to be in communication with people and you may not like what you hear or that the energy is a little garbled and confused. It will become clearer the second of these gates that we're waiting to have open opens around the middle of July. And then by the end of July, we gather momentum and August again sees a certain kind of forward movement. Remember, the purpose of this summer is to get us to deal with some past issues so that as we move into next year especially we are much freer and much more unencumbered and much clearer and without a certain amount of murkiness that we've been acquiring since the middle of July 2018 and into, into 2019. Mercury is retrograde in Cancer where we just where we've had eclipses since July 2018 and my last couple of videos will explain that I don't want to confuse you too much by bringing up lots of signs and lots of houses but there is a narrative here there's a story here so by all means start to be in communication start to move things forward don't be in a rush be patient till the middle of July just to see what data and information comes in if there's stuff that you have to do do it you're gonna feel like you're done with being in your head and wondering about what's going on and is this gonna happen or is that gonna happen you're gonna start to want answers you're gonna start to want contracts you're going to want to start agreements. You're going to want to start picking up the phone. You're going to want to start, want to start airing differences. You're going to want to start building those bridges. You're going to want to start saying, here's what's been going on for me and here's what I've been wondering. What's been going on for you? Here's what concerns me. Here's what bothered me. Here's what I liked. Here's what I didn't like. And so you're going to be keen to determine now that you've gone through this reevaluation process of what is important to you relationship-wise and financially, you are going to be now moving forward and trying to determine because you're done with being internal who is in the boat with you and who is not what are the contracts you're taking and moving forward with and what are not however the next two weeks is more deliberate and by august the 7th you will have a clearer sense of which bridges are going to stand and which are not i'm going to leave it at that for now there's more to come in future videos god see this is how the mercury retrograde was helpful because I was actually, even though I've been repetitive, far more articulate with this video than any of the videos that I did before. So let that serve as a metaphor. Slow and steady repetition are going to be your friends. Okay. If you like this video, found it useful for you for you to share it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I do new videos. And my contact information is in the description box. So if you're interested in inquiring about rates for readings, you can email me there. Or if you want me to make a, you an easy to read version of your chart so you can see which sign which sits in which house, you can inquire about that too. You're gonna need you to know your birth time for that. Do not send me your birth time. Just email me about rates first and then we'll take it from there. I'm gonna leave it at this. I need to move on with your life because Mercury Retrograde has made this process. I spent over an hour on a video that's going to be 19 minutes long, actually more than over an hour probably, irrespective. It's all done. It's all good. I'm happy to have imparted the information to you. It's actually been fun. Till next time.